All right, let's get to the uh, the newsmaker line. Um, really excited to have uh, Ben Ball join us. He is the host of Coastal Daybreak, which is the morning show there at WTKF. And uh, Ben, uh, we are just so excited to be a part of the family there. And it's great to talk with you again, Todd. It's always good to hear you, and you are going over like gangbusters here in eastern North Carolina. Well, we're excited. Well, it's a, it's a great part of the country, and i got to tell you something. We were looking at a local report, and they're saying that hundreds of people are already lined up for the president's rally tonight. Yeah, the, the traffic is already building going into Greenville. You know, we're not exactly on an interstate here in eastern North Carolina, so uh, <laughs> it's a couple of two-lane roads getting busy, and they are, they are what I understand is there were over 100 before daybreak uh, this morning already camped out there. EC is a great tailgate community, so they're having fun this afternoon. Well, no doubt about that. And uh, I understand Laura Trump is going to be there, um, the president's daughter-in-law. And, of course, she's a native North Carolinian, so uh, she's she's, uh, certainly um, happy to get back home. Yeah, we had her on the, with us this morning, and, and we've uh, had her. We've talked to her before, and always kid her about you know she's got to get some barbecue introduced into his diet, some Eastern North Carolina barbecue. That would be that'd be good. And and I told her where to send the Secret Service agents there in Greenville to to, to get the best. I'm not going to give them a plug because they're not advertisers with us, but uh, I will tell you that uh, uh, that would be fun to have him introduced to that. Ben, you're a classic radio guy. Classic. Radio. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Been doing this a long time, son. But, but you can tell us. You know, we're working on our big book tour, and uh, we're planning on coming to, to Moorhead City. So you'll have to let producer John know uh, so we can uh, we can taste that barbecue. Oh, yeah, we'll make sure that you have some uh, uh, ready here. You know, I, I think that um, this is a really exciting to have him in our backyard in Greenville because it, we understand that it was originally going to be in Fayetteville, but it was moved because of the importance of the, the congressional election that's going to go on there. You know the special election. You've talked to Dr. Greg Murphy a couple of times, and he won the Republican primary, and he's going he's to be facing a Democrat opponent, former mayor of Greenville. So to have the president in right in his backyard there, uh, and have uh, Dr. Murphy on stage. I know it's going to be a big plus. Now, uh, Ben, I can promise you this. I, I normally the other the other cable channels don't take the president's speech live, but he is apparently going to talk about those of uh, those four congresswomen tonight at the rally. So I wouldn't be surprised if you guys get some pretty pretty big national coverage tonight. Oh, oh, you know, you know, I was saying actually on the show this morning uh, that. It's going to be unfortunate that the only soundbite you're going to hear out of that rally is going to be about that. That will be the only soundbite that will make the media. Now, what he's going to tell everyone, though, is of the number of accomplishments, the economy, how the, the, the courts, uh, everything that we've, we wanted out of a conservative is happening. And, and, uh, and we're not going to hear that. We're going to just hear soundbites about this this little dogfight going on. I am curious. Uh, I, I, I do want to know how, how people around uh, eastern North Carolina feel about the president. What do they like about what the president's been doing? Well, I think like much of America, um, many people that were a little skeptical of him came around to uh, really appreciate the the forcefulness with which not only that he speaks, but more importantly how he acts, how he gets uh, how he gets the job done. I mean, I think we have a lot of people in North Carolina, which you know we lost all our textile industry in North Carolina. They're they're happy to see the trade of uh, a war with China uh, in in the respect that it can may bring some fair to the stage. I mean, they're, they're happy to see conservatives on the Supreme Court. They're happy to see uh, the economy doing well. I mean, this is, there, there are so many good accomplishments in really a very short period of time that uh, I think they're finding this president who maybe like, I know I was, I was skeptical about this man at first and now come to realize that he's the right choice. Are you going to be at the rally tonight? No, not going to be at the rally. You know, my other job is I'm a pastor and we have church on Wednesdays. Oh, that's right. Well, you can't miss out. You can't have, well, you could move prayer meeting to the Trump rally. I mean, I guess you could. But then you wouldn't have, the, do you guys still have Wednesday night supper? Uh, oh, uh, no, but we actually are having barbecue on Friday night. Is that <laughs> to bring that back around? Okay, we're going to your church uh, when we come to Moorhead City. <laughs> uh, you are more than welcome. That's awesome. Well, Ben, uh, that that sounds like you guys are going to have a great time uh, this evening, and uh, we'll try to maybe we can touch base with you tomorrow to see how uh, see how things went and uh, what the response was. 
we're we're looking forward to it. I, I really hope that people won't be disappointed if they don't get in. I understand they're going to have screens outside, 8,000 seat capacity in the Williams Arena. But uh, what I heard is there's 40,000 ticket downloads. So what, forty thousand so, tickets. How many people live in Moorhead City in that area? Well, we well we have a couple hundred thousand okay. living in the in the area. Still, that's so a that's huge not, crowd. Not, not in Moorhead City, but you know, in the immediate area that was that's that a large he'll crowd, uh, draw from. Yes, it'll be a big crowd. Ben, uh, you know how this goes. We got to take a break and oh, yeah. pay some bills around here. So appreciate you coming on the show today. Oh, uh, enjoy it all the time, uh, Todd. You've been a great addition to our lineup. Well, thank you. Those are kind words. I appreciate that, Ben. Uh, Ben Ball, ladies and gentlemen, host of Coastal Daybreak, uh, WTKF 1071 FM, uh, our affiliate. And we're proud to be a part of their radio family uh, there in eastern uh, North Carolina. He said 40,000 ticket downloads for an 8,000-seat arena. Wow. No surprise at all.